Hello there. Um, I'm Martin, and this is the first video I'm going to be posting. Um, I may be only posting one or two videos, I honestly don't know. Um, I want to do a little, I guess, video blog of some description, just to talk through stuff in my life, or fun stuff, I might do some gaming at some point, or I honestly don't have a plan at this stage, um, but I did want to talk about something quite important to me um, as a first video to at least introduce myself, the channel, and maybe even help someone, perhaps, I honestly don't know. Um, and that subject is depression. Um, anyone who maybe knows me personally knows that that is a very big subject in my life, especially in the last couple of years. Uh, I've suffered with depression for half my life now. Um, good days and bad. You get quite used to putting on a face, so a lot of people don't actually realise it. So when a lot of people in my life found out that I suffered, they were completely shocked because on the outside I'm a happy-go-lucky, smiling, normal person. And that wasn't the case on the inside, on the private side of things. And there were times when things got bad. <laughs> um, especially a year ago, I suffered with a big breakdown and I'm not ashamed to say that I came quite close to doing something bad. <laughs> uh, I don't think I really need to elaborate what that could be. I'm sure there's many who will realise that. And since then, I've really spent a lot of time thinking about, you know, what that what that could mean, I guess, or what what to me taking that next step. How would that be perceived? I know it sounds a bit dark and a bit grim, but you have to reflect on the bad times when you're trying to, I guess, recover from something like depression um, and on the face of it killing yourself can look like a very cowardly act and I'm sure there are those on the outside who will see it as a weak move as you're giving up as you should have snapped out of it you should be happy what you're upset about um, but in reality those are the type of people who don't actually realise what depression is and how badly it can affect you. Um, you spend every waking moment doubting everything. and From simple things about what you're eating to conversations you have about literally every aspect of your life. You're doubting, you're questioning. And then you go to bed on an evening and you either can't sleep because of those thoughts or you have dreams or even nightmares and then you wake up and you go to work or what have you and you cannot escape your own head that it is impossible to even comprehend what someone with depression is truly going through unless you can get inside their head and that some depression is all about attention seeking to those who actually know depression, I will say a good 99% of us suffering with depression, it's not about attention. It's about trying to understand your place in the world. It's trying to cope with the world around you. Now that seems to a normal person very easy. And yes, everyone has bad days. Everyone gets upset it's human nature but with depression there are no good days not in the common sense not in the what would be perceived as normal sense I guess is the best way of describing that with depression your good day is you've doubted yourself a little less or you've maybe given yourself a bit of credit for something but deep down all it takes is one little thing one person to say the wrong thing 
one very very simple thing and all of a sudden that can collapse all around you and at that point it can be tough to recover from you as a depressive person I guess well, that's why it doesn't sound right but it, the world around you can seriously affect everything um, one person being negative can destroy what might have been a positive day and even marginal stress everyone has stress through the day for whatever reason but when you're suffering with depression stress is the single worst thing I guess you can suffer with because nothing will go right um, with my breakdown I was highly stressed in a job I despised um, and I wasn't given any support from those who should have been giving me the support um, and I had to find a coping mechanism that worked and I couldn't and that led to me having a breakdown which then led to me being out of work for a while um, which led to money problems and effectively resetting my life at the start of this year now that's incredibly hard and I would go out on a limb and say it was my lowest point in my life and like I say I came close to doing stupid thing and do I regret that? No um, it's a chapter in my life have I fully recovered? definitely not um, I've taken it a day at a time, I've found medication that's helped me, I've completely reset my life, I've got a job which um, which I enjoy uh, for that it's more in keeping with myself, little stress more positivity better environment um, I've tried to adopt a more positive, stronger outlook with myself, so I am trying to be a different me, which, as I approach my 30th, you can imagine that's kind of tough, because my entire life I've been a completely different person, now I'm changing completely everything about me. Now the reason for me doing this type of video it's not for me to talk about myself my feelings because you don't want to listen to that and i'm sure the two people who are watching this video have probably either turned it off or already nodded off to sleep um one of my main aims for doing a video like this i want to try and help those people who are suffering and may think they're alone or think they've got no one to support them because that's not true um look at your friends, look at your family, talk to your doctor, get whatever help, whatever support network you need around you, get it because even if it's just one person, just one person you can unleash all of your feelings on or who can, I don't want to say distract because you don't want to be distracted from what's going on you need those problems to be solved rather than pushed to one side again that's something I didn't learn fast enough but find someone who can help work through your problems medication it sounds stupid and I hate being I guess tied to taking pills every day but the long run is if you can find a, a combination or something that works you have to stick to it if you're finding work is stressing you depressing you change it if your home environment isn't working change it it sounds simple take it from me it's not um, but you've got to try and be the architect of your own change of be the 
positive element in your own life and if you can fantastic with me I yes I'm in a better place now but I have bad days and there are some days where I slip into the old me and I hate it I truly hate it because I doubt everything and I have to try and slap myself to figure out that actually no you do not need this you can get better and it is not easy it really isn't easy um, you, you've got to want to change if you sit in bed and you are saying I'm miserable you're not doing yourself any good I've learnt that what you need to do is I'm miserable because of A, B and C so I'm going to do something about this I'm going to cut this person out of my life I'm going to change my job I'm going to look for a new home a new flat I'm going to stand up for myself more I'm going to smile or find reasons to actually smile find ways to be happy and take it just a day at a time you don't have to get ahead of yourself you don't have to say in a year I'm going to be happy I'm going to be better because you might not be what you have to say is tomorrow is another day tomorrow is the day I'm going to be happy and when that tomorrow comes along be happy, be positive if something negative happens try and shake it off as best as you can I'm not saying that in a, a horrible way I guess because there are some things you can't shake off but try and find positive elements within that this has happened it sucks but this can happen as a result of it and try and find something a silver lining somewhere because if you sit there and you complain then you're doing yourself no good <laughs> and you will lose friends I, I won't sure cover that they're gonna be but by friends I mean those who are really probably dragging you down anyway and there are people in my life that I love to pieces when I was with them and I loved everything about being around them and it was amazing and there'd be funny times but looking back I realised actually they were only there to feed their own egos and any time I needed help they weren't there to help and I'm glad I no longer speak to them and have any part of their life and they have no part of my life and it's going to be tough there's going to be periods where you will alienate yourself because of maybe being a bit stronger but you'll be a better person and you may ultimately meet people who will be better for you in the long term I'm hoping that maybe I'm on that path now I honestly don't know in a year's time I may not speak to half the people that, that I would call friends or that I can feel now I can rely on I honestly don't know and that's almost the beauty of life is that uh, anything can happen at a moment's notice some good, some bad. Take good with the bad as best as you can. And when the bad happens, deal as best as you can. And if, I guess, one of the last messages I'd want to leave here if you are in a bad place and maybe you are considering ending it. Consider all the options. You may think that you would be better off, or if the world, the world would be better off without you. But in reality, is that the case? Because I would probably say in everyone's life, there's going to be at least one person that would be severely affected if you weren't there. 
and that might be the person that you least expect it. It may be someone who you do expect, a parent, a sibling, a loved one, a friend, but it might be perhaps that person that when you go to work you have a bit of a laugh with in a breakout area and you may not realise it but that's you're the highlight of their day and if you weren't there then they would slip and it, it can it lots of other things can happen. You don't truly know how you ending that suffering will affect those around you. And believe me, you will affect those around you. It won't be just shaken off or ignored. I'm not speaking from experience in that case, obviously. I'm still here and I've not taken that step. But there were times when I did consider seriously doing it and those were the thoughts which stopped me I guess I don't really know why um, I've rambled um, one thing I would like to add if you are in a bad place and feel you are alone feel free to get in touch I will be happy to talk to those who are legitimately struggling and try and see if I can help and if you maybe wanted to know more about perhaps depression and you wanted to know how you could help someone who you think may need you to help again get in touch I would like to try and be a positive in the world and if by some miracle you are still awake or still watching um, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video I know it's a bit lengthy um, I may record some stuff further down the line I honestly I like I say I've got no plan for this channel I just I knew I wanted to speak about this one matter at the very least and then I will take it from there I may post regularly I might post one video every now and again this may be the only video on the channel um, I don't know <laughs> um, but if you would want to see more or if you've got any questions just leave a comment or a message or something I don't really know how this works um, yeah I'd love to hear feedback I'd love to hear what you would want me to talk about I'd love to hear your thoughts on what I've said today and just generally I'd love to try and do what I can so I'll leave it there and um, again thank you and see you next time maybe bye